Happy New Year and welcome to Recyclist. It's January 5th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy, presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market, where the beginning of the year has served as a pretty significant rebound for four companies in particular, and we're going to highlight those right now. As of January 5th, 2024, Vanguard ESG is trading at a volume of 70,534. Invest C Global is at a volume of 93,498. Atlantica Sustainable is currently trading at a volume of 170,768. And Clean Energy Core is up to 369,834. And speaking of the world of business, the city of Round Rock's waste service provider, Central Texas Refuse, announced recently it has been acquired by Republic Services. Central Texas Refuse personnel remain in place and there are currently no route or schedule changes planned at this time. Michael Thane, Utilities and Environmental Service Director, said, quote, By having a larger service provider on board, we see this as an opportunity to enhance our waste management capabilities and have the ability to pull in more resources when needed, including disaster situations. End quote. Up next, in Congress, the Farewell to Foam Act has been introduced by Senator Chris Van Hollen and Congresswoman Lloyd Doggett, and if passed, would restrict the sale and use of foam foodware, foam packing peanuts, and single-use foam containers beginning in 2026. It follows a report by the campaigning group Ocean Conservancy earlier this autumn, which claimed over 5.6 billion pieces of plastic foam foodware are used used in the U.S. each year. Ocean Conservancy's Associate Director of U.S. Plastics Policy, Dr. Anya Brandon, said in an interview, the standalone bill is a, quote, significant step forward, end quote, and would remove some of the most polluting and harmful plastics out there. Up next, food giant Aldi has announced a 57% reduction in its food waste as a percentage of total food sales, achieving its 2030 target eight years ahead of schedule. The business had committed to reducing food waste by 20% by 2025 and to have food waste by 2030. As it has achieved both goals early, Aldi has revised its current target and is now aiming to reduce food waste by 90% by 2030. The retailer said it is working hard to prevent waste in its operations wherever possible and is working with food redistribution companies like Company Shop Group to redistribute food where any waste does occur. Now in New Jersey... SJI, Captona, and RNG Energy Solutions recently announced their partnership to construct one of the largest food waste to renewable natural gas projects in the United States. The Linden Renewable Energy Project, based in Linden, New Jersey, will convert organic waste into pipeline quality RNG that can be used for a variety of applications to displace fossil fuels. This marks SJI's first non-utility-led anaerobic digester project that will directly connect to its utility customers with a New Jersey-based RNG producer. Elizabeth Town Gas, one of SJI's primary utility subsidiaries, will blend the RNG from the project into its existing natural gas distribution system. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com or call them at 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. The next funds from the EPA's Small Business Innovation Research Grant Program have been announced, with $200,000 in research funding going to two Los Angeles small businesses to further develop and commercialize their environmental technologies. EPA Regional Administrator Cherie Peterson said, quote, California's small businesses are leaders in creating innovative and practical zero-waste solutions that have far-reaching benefits for communities. 
These companies' efforts to bring their technologies to market will advance the circular economy while protecting public health and the environment. End quote. And now in Atlanta, Waste Eliminator, the leader in sustainable waste solutions in the metro Atlanta area, announced recently the opening of its new state-of-the-art material recovery facility located in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. Replacing an older generation facility, this facility will increase the company's waste diversion from landfills and promote additional beneficial reuse and recycling opportunities, lessening the environmental burden and impact of its customers. With the opening of the new recycling facility, Waste Eliminator will increase its throughput capacity by 25%. CEO of Waste Eliminator, Casey Cronin, said, quote, As the leading provider of sustainable waste solutions in the Atlanta market, Waste Eliminator is proud to partner with our corporate clients as they move toward a circular economy model. This new facility embodies the long-term vision of Waste Eliminator and will be a cornerstone for Atlanta's sustainable vision ahead. End quote. And back up in New York, Northwell Health, New York State's largest healthcare provider and private employer, and Invitex Sustainable Technologies Limited announced the installation of what they're calling Generations, a technology designed for the safe and effective on-site treatment of regulated medical waste, including single-use laboratory plastics, glass, PPE, and sharps containers. CEO of Northwell, Michael Dowling, said, quote, Climate change is undeniably becoming a public health crisis that requires urgent action and leadership from hospitals. As the largest hospital network and private employer in New York, Northwell Health is fully committed to leading the transition toward a sustainable health care future. Adopting state-of-the-art clean technologies such as generations represents an important step forward in our climate goal of reducing greenhouse gases gas emissions by 50% by 2030, end quote. And that has been your Recyclist News Update for January 5th, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for a brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.